Hello, my little nerd babies. How are you doing? Welcome to a show I like to call Nerd News! There's my communicator. I promise no more singing from now on. Let's talk about comics right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know that Superman is being totally revamped and restarted at Action Comics number one with a whole new look and vibe and everything? And let me tell you, it involves some thick thighs and some jeans. I thought I would hate it, but I don't. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you approve of jeans on Superman. Also in Superman news, this is less positive news, unfortunately. DC has canceled Superman's planned team up with a Muslim superhero named Sharif, and they ran an old story instead. Now, this is a comic that was penciled, inked, and printed, and they decided not to run it. Most people think it's because they got a lot of attention from right-wing bloggers when they had a French Muslim character on Batman Inc. Either way, DC, this makes you look like racists. Superman deserves better. We as fans deserve better. You have to fix this. Fix it. Fix it now. Okay, moving on. Speaking of Superman and Star Wars and Avatar, did you know that all of these things share source material? They do. It's William Rice Burroughs' John Carter of Mars, and it's being turned into a movie, finally. I think it looks really exciting. They're not taking it to Comic-Con, however, as many other films, so let's talk about that. Lots of people aren't going. The Superman Man of Steel movie, The Avengers, and The Dark Knight Rises are not going to Comic-Con, and those are three of the biggest movies slated for next summer. Spider-Man is showing, but there's a lot of hubbub about this. Not very many people like it, obviously. Fans feel like they're being snubbed. Respect your fans. If you're making a comic book movie, it's for the comic book fans. That's who goes to see them. Just, you know, give them a little tidbit. Give them a little nugget. Give us a treat. Give us some stuff. Give, give, give us a sneak peek. We want it. We deserve it, I think. Don't you guys? Please give it to us. Show your movies at Comic-Con. Or at least like a snippet or something. Go. Okay? In movie news, since we started talking about movies, The Hobbit, it, it has more exciting things. They've released a couple of images, uh, one of Gandalf, but especially one of Martin Freeman as Bilbo, and he looks amazing. Yay! Also, in other casting news, Evangeline Lilly has been cast in The Hobbit movies as an unspecified elf. She looks super elfy in real life, so I think this is good casting, and she has a calm presence that I think will serve well. She is not playing Legolas as a girlfriend. That is one thing that we have been assured of. I'm pretty glad to hear it because I, I know that I'm Legolas's girlfriend, so that would have been really insulting if some other person was doing it, right? Also, Hobbity News, Benedict Cumberbatch has been cast as the voice of Smog the Dragon. Good job, Peter Jackson, once again. You know how to cast movies. Because you guys have been hounding me to do so, I started reading The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and you're right, it's awesome. Thank you for the recommendation, all of you. All of you. And speaking of books, let's talk Neil Gaiman. He's an amazing writer, and he has a bunch of news. He co-wrote the book Good Omens with Terry Pratchett, which I would like to recommend to you guys as an alternative to The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. If that seems too long for you, go ahead and go for The Good Omens. It's short, it's witty, it's funny. Neil Gaiman also wrote American Gods. That is being re-released in its original form. He's calling it the director's cut of his book. So it's basically what he handed it into the editor before he was asked to make edits. Speaking of American Gods, he is turning that into an HBO miniseries. Apparently Tom Hanks is maybe on board. They're trying to turn it into a six season series. I think this is super, super exciting. Yay, Neil, go Neil. In science news, the Cassini Orbiter, which I got to see a replica of when I went to NASA, it has taken some pictures and done some exploratory work, apparently, on the moons of Saturn. Titan has lakes of liquid methane and ethane and may have a subsurface ocean. Isn't that exciting? Maybe life will happen there one day. Come with me to NASA. Come with me to NASA. Come with me. Look at these little Hi, small people made of paper. There's this. This is the Cassini spacecraft currently in orbit around Saturn. It's half size model. Cool, right? Okay, guys. That's it for Nerd News. I appreciate you all coming and watching these so much. Here are some Fiskas for you. 
and some Eskimo kisses, and butterfly kisses, and elephant kisses. So glad to see you guys brought peanuts. Bye.